welcome back to my channel. In today's video I have a book outlet haul, which if you don't know what book outlet is, it's basically this online store. They do have some brick and mortar locations too as well, I believe. And they basically have all kinds of books, at least 50 to 75% off, I believe. And they have just about everything. I have been making an Amazon list forever of books I wanted, but they were so expensive that I wasn't buying them. And so when I heard about this website, I placed a giant order, obviously, because I cannot say no to a deal. So I've already told myself I'm not going to order again until Black Friday, because apparently they have really good Black Friday sales as well. But while I'm stuck in the house, like everybody else, I figured I could read some of those books that I've been telling myself I'm going to read for years. So some of these are for my sister, some of them are for me, some of them are for both of us. I'll sort of clarify which ones are which as I go through, but we'll just start with... They're all kind of, I did go through and like organize them, sort of, so they're sort of in piles by who they're for, but I guess I will just start with this one, just because it's on the top and it's bugging me. This is Fate of Flames, which is book one in the Effigies series by Sarah Ruffley. I've never heard of this, I believe this was one of the ones that I got from my sister. I'm honestly not sure what it, it is about. I don't remember what a lot of them are about, to be honest. I'm not going to bore you and read the backs of the books because I hate when people do that in videos. But got that one for, I'm pre pretty sure I'll probably end up reading that as well. This one is definitely one my sister picked out. This is All American Girl by Meg Cabot. This is the same author as The Princess Diaries, which she really liked. And I really like the feel of this book, which is sort of weird. Like, it's very small and the font is like a decent size. I hate when the books have like teeny tiny font. And so I just got that one from my sister. This one is called Canterwood Crest Take the Reins. This is book one in like a very big series I'm pretty sure. I just got book one for my sister because to see if she likes it basically. She likes Heartland on Netflix the show so I figured maybe she'd like this like horses and things like that and it seems a little bit older than I thought. I was worried this would be too young for her but it actually looks like it should be okay. So we got that one. And then next for her I got this series which I think actually looks really cool. I may read these depending on how they go with her. And it's just this series. I'm pretty sure this is the first one. The Murder is Bad Manners series by Robin Stevens and this just sort of is like a Sherlock type Nancy Drew style mystery and so there's that one then there's first class murder and jolly foul play and so those three are obviously for her as well but like I said I may read those next we got the hidden magic of Walt Disney World if you know me and my sister you know we're both obsessed with Disney so I thought this would be a really cool one it just has all kinds of little weird facts about Disney that you wouldn't normally know and so I just thought this would be really cool and I think she's really gonna like it this was only like six dollars and it was regular like 14 or 15, so that was pretty good. So we got that one. Next I just got this Around the World in 80 Days, and I don't know why this sort of just like called out to me on the website. I never really read the classics growing up. I, for some reason, was under the impression this book was about a guy who just got on a plane and flew around the world in 80 days, which now that I think about it, wouldn't be like a crazy feat, so that explains why that is not what the book is about. But I read the little description of it and it seemed actually pretty interesting so I got this. It was only $2.80. It's just the Puffin Classics Edition and so I figured I could finally read that and see if I actually like the classics. Next I got um, Always and Forever Lara Jean. Ow. This is the <laughs> third book in the To All the Boys I've Loved Before series. I have the first one. I'll have to wait for the second one to come on Book Outlet because that's probably where I'm going to buy everything from now on. But I haven't read the first one yet. I've watched the movie though and love that so hoping to read these soon. And so I just got that because they had it in stock while I was looking. Next, I wish I had put these kind of together. But I got a whole bunch of the Casey West books because I feel like a lot of these are books that I would like. I have a lot of fantasy books already because my cousin passed them down to me and she's very big into the the fantasy books and so I got a lot of like YA romance type books in this haul because 
like I said, that's what I don't have. And so this one's just about a girl who gets dumped before her prom, and the guy in the parking lot agrees to be her boyfriend for the prom, basically, and then they probably end up dating because that's just how that happens. But there's that one, and there's also, like I said, a whole bunch in here, but I didn't put them all together because I'm stupid, so I just have to find them when I find them. This next one is The Season of You and Me by Robin Constantine, and this one I do remember is about a girl who goes through a really bad breakup and decides to move in with her dad in the Jersey Shore and gets a job as a camp counselor and meets this guy who's also working at the camp who can't walk and is tired of being told that he won't be able to do all these things and is trying to get his confidence back. And the two of them end up together, I'm pretty sure, and so there's that one. And I'm like really into like camp counselor anything really for some reason. I have no idea why. I've never been a camp counselor. I always wanted to be, but I always kind of end up working at Disney for the summer, so that's not that I'm saying that's worse than being a camp counselor. It's definitely a million times cooler, but still. Um, this is Cross My Heart, Hope to Die, which is a Pretty Little Liars sort of spin-off book, I think. Actually, maybe it's not. I don't think it's connected at all, actually. This is just by the same author as the Pretty Little Liars book. This one is for my sister, and I know it's about twins and one of them dies and the killer makes one take the place of the other which the whole thing sounds very weird but that is basically what Pretty Little Liars is like. It's weird but believable. And next we have another KC West book. This is By Your Side. I believe this is the one where she gets locked in or the main girl gets locked in a library with a guy that's kind of like a loner and she thinks her boyfriend is going to realize she's gone but he doesn't and then they end up bonding her and the loner guy in the library so I thought that would be another cute one as well. Then I have this one again but better. This was actually like a last minute addition because I saw someone talk about this in a video and it's about a girl I think who goes to like university or college and doesn't like her experience so she decides she's gonna study abroad to do it over and if you know me you know I hated my university experience and so I thought this would be kind of interesting to read because it's sort of how I feel sometimes. It's like if I could just do it over it would be ten times better. So I thought that would be a good one to get. Next, I'm not going to show all of these. Well, maybe I will like really quickly, but like I said, or maybe I haven't said it in this video, but I watched Pretty Little Liars last summer and was instantly obsessed. I was very late to the bandwagon on that. I'll be completely honest with that. But I got the first four books for Christmas and so I saw that they had a lot of them available. There's like 19 of them and they're all like $16 on Amazon so I was like that's going to be one expensive series to buy. But they had a bunch of them for like between 2 and $5 so I bought all the ones they had that I didn't have. So we have Ruthless, Wicked, Crushed, Burned, Wanted, Twisted, I'm running out of space. Toxic and Vicious. I'm still missing a couple, but I'll just wait till they do get them in stock on the site to buy them. And then I got If I Stay. You'll notice like a trend here. I'm a big fan of books that are movies and movies that are books or TV shows and things like that. So this one was a movie. I haven't watched the movie yet because I did want to read the book first, so finally got the book for that. Then I just got Lauren Conrad's L.A. Candy. I'm going to be honest, I have no idea who Lauren Conrad is. I'm sure she's really famous for something, but I have no idea. I know a lot of people read this when I was in high school, so I thought I would see what all the interest was about. I'm not sure if it's just because they all knew her for whatever she's famous for, but I just thought I'd give it a shot. It was like $2.50. Then next was this Hearts Made for Breaking. This one is by Jen Klein. And this one I remember, the girl has never had a bad breakup, she just always kind of basically never falls in love with the guy enough to actually result in a big breakup, and so her friends challenge her to actually have a bad breakup, and so she picks this undateable guy to be the one that she has a bad breakup with. That one was another one that was like two dollars. And then I got the Generation 1 by Pitticus Lore. I'm pretty sure this is something to do with the Lorian Legacies books, which I did really like. I read the first three or four, I believe, at least I got to four. And then I kind of stopped because the books weren't out and then I just never got the new ones to read. So I figured I would read this one because I did like those ones, even though I'm not normally into like alien type books. They're not as bad as I would think they would be. 
Next I just got The Duff by Cody Keplinger. I feel like everyone knows this story. The This guy is calling this one girl the Duff of her friend group, which is the designated ugly fat friend, and then they end up kissing and probably end up dating. I have no idea. But this one was also only $2. And again, book to movies. I'm a big fan of that. So got that one. And then also along with that, I got The Vampire Diaries. I actually just started watching this on Amazon Prime Video now that I'm at home doing nothing. Um, so I just thought I would read the book as well. So I got to that. I think this is actually two books in one. It's The Awakening and The Struggle. So we'll see how that goes. Next there's two more Casey West books, The Distance Between Us and Fate, Fame, and The First Kiss. I don't know what either of these are about really. Um, I know this one she dates a rich guy or something, and this one she gets cast in a movie and falls in love with her tutor, I think. And so those are just two that I got from her. I think those are going to be books that I really like, the Casey West ones. I've never read any of her books, but they just seem very appealing. And then. I also got Starry Eyes by Jen Bennett. This one's about, I'm pretty sure, teenagers that get like stranded in the woods and fall in love, which is, again, woods, camping, I'm all about all of that. And so I got that one. And then Surviving Adam Mead by Shannon Clare. This says Coach's Daughter Meets High School Quarterback, What Could Go Wrong. So again, another sort of romance type book. And then I got these two because I actually saw them on book outlets Instagram and they said it was Pretty Little Liars meets something. I can't even remember what they said it meets but I was like Pretty Little Liars and I'm sold. And these are Shiny Broken Pieces and Tiny Pretty Things. These obviously all go together and I just got both of them. Obviously they were like six dollars for both of them so that was pretty good as well. Then the last two books are also ones that are Mainly for my sister, but I may read as well. The Odds of Lightning, I remember this one had something to do with all these kids who get separated and end up back together when lightning strikes or something. I could be totally wrong on that, but that's what I remember. And then People Like Us, which was like a private school murder mystery, I'm pretty sure, which I feel like she would like. And so I got that. I may read this one as well, like I said. But that was everything I got, so thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe down below. I do new videos every single Sunday, and I'll see you next time.